Hey viewers, this is Lightworks tutorial with another video on how to edit in Lightworks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit with audio. As you can see, I've imported a video already. In the timeline, there are two audio bars and one video bar. Typically, modern videos have two audio bars because they are stereo, while older videos have only one bar, which means they are mono. But we're not going to worry about that for now. Visually, you can tell if a video has audio by looking at the audio bars. Bumps tell you that th there's sound, but bigger bumps tell you that the sound is louder than the rest of the audio in the video. Next, we will navigate through the advanced section of the audio, which is located at the bottom right of the timeline box. We are not going to worry about the speed of the audio yet, but we are going to take a look at the track sound level and the clip gain. The clip gain indicates how loud the video output sound is, is represented as a broken white line. Its function is to increase or decrease the volume of the entire video. The track sound level is the yellow line and it its function is similar, however it can adjust volume at any point throughout the video. As, as seen on the Lightworks forum, the clip gain modifies sound throughout the entire video as shown, however the track sound can adjust sound at points in the video. I will play this part of the video for you to hear. For example, if the sound of the sniper was too loud and we wanted to lower the volume, we simply add two keyframes by clicking on the plus button at the desired points. Now you see two keyframes. Keyframes are represented as yellow boxes on the timeline. Also, be careful to do that for both audio bars. Then we will add one more keyframe on opposite sides of the audio, audio part that we want to lower. Typically the keyframes should be one frame apart. Now we would lower the decibels by typing a negative number in the space provided. Let's say we will lower it down to 20, negative 20. Always remember to add the negative or the plus. We'll go to the next keyframe and click negative 20. As you can see, there's a massive dip in the timeline on both audio tracks because of the lowering of the sound. Now if we would play it as you may hear the sound is is lowered a lot by the um, keyframes in that point of the video. Now if I undo that and move on to the clip gain the clip gain doesn't have the plus or negative button because it affects the entire video as shown here. Now if we would try to lower the, the volume of the the video using the clip gain to ne let's say negative 20 again
and we would play at the same point. The entire video, the entire video's volume is lowered, which makes a very big difference. And finally, to wrap things up, we will add background music that will correspond with the video. What that means is that the background music will lower its volume at the point of the sniper shot so we can hear them more clearly. I've imported this audio file already, so I will just add two new audio bars and drag the file to the to the beginning of the video. So let's do that. Add two new audio files and drag this along to the beginning of the video. Ponk it down there. Next I'll lower the volume of the entire video so that we'll hear the music playing. So from that just do negative 20 again now if we would play that from around here but what if you want to hear the sniper shots well then all you have to do is add two keyframes along the uh, Snipe, uh, at the point where the sniper shots are heard. So I'll do that right now. So add two keyframes with this sniper shot as well. And finally I'll add keyframes on the background music at the same point where the music aligns with the audio from the video. So do that, I'll do that right now and do that to here as well. So now you want to increase the volume of the sniper shots. So let's say plus 20, oops, uh, so not plus 20, plus 10. And you want to lower this volume to negative 20. And do this the same again for every keyframe. Now, if we will play that from the. As you may hear, the sniper shots are heard, but the music is kind of a bit too loud, so you would simply just adjust this. Of course, it takes a bit of playing around, but once you get the hang of it, it'll work out for you a lot. So you can play it now. As you can hear, the audio is lowered at the point in the video that you want. So the sniper shots are heard, but that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching guys. If you do enjoy this video, please ask for more, share and give us a like. Thanks a lot guys.